All right, so welcome. Day one of the five day abundance research challenge is officially kicking off right here, right now. You are in, and I am so excited that you said yes to being here. And you may hear a little doggy choir in the background every now and again, some other noises out of my control. Um, I invite you to give yourself permission to claim the next half hour or so just for you to receive what is optimal for you as we dive into the abundance reset activation for today. And and as we get started, hold on one second. giving yourself permission to let your mind just forget everything that it thinks it already knows so that you can be open to discovering new ways of experiencing abundance. So here we go. Let me just make sure that everyone is on, that you can hear me. If you can hear me and if you can see me, then just go ahead and post a little yay in the comments and let me know where it is that you are calling in from and where you're joining in from. And hi, Karen, lovely to see you here. And you're welcome, Rana, welcome to see you here. All right, so I wanted to just really take a moment to gather everybody in this beautiful energetic space. We are, we are so immensely supported by multidimensional councils of light, our families of light, our angels, our guides, they are on standby, available, the goddesses, so many of the nature beings are here supporting this abundance event. And I am so honored to be here and to be sharing with you. And it's so exciting that we have people from all over the world here. And hi, Jessica. And hi, Anna from Colorado. Sarah. Hey, Sarah in Perth too. Beautiful. So wonderful. And wow, Rana from Beirut and Lebanon. How awesome. Isn't it just amazing how we can gather here? So ah, oh, gathering in our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful circle, wherever you are, imagine that you are just stepping into this amazingly abundant circle of golden light and that you can stay within this circle of light if you choose as you go about your day or evening, yet it's being amplified while we are gathered here today. And while you are in this beautiful circle of golden light, allowing yourself to just breathe in what is optimal for you from this gold frequency. And if you can see it, then you see it. If you sense it, you sense it. You may feel it, just imagine it. Golden light is an amazing support with alchemizing and really optimizing our abundance and wealth frequency. And I'm super excited. So to give you a little overview here for our week together, we're starting with our beautiful abundance activations. And then every day I have two amazing abundance soulpreneurs sharing their wisdom with you. Being an abundant soulpreneur includes allowing yourself to receive the support that you require to thrive. And as I don't know many people who are experts in all the areas that are required to run the business successfully, then it's so good to have the support available. So I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you. So, Wow, and the doggies are chiming in and cheering us on here. So allowing that to, um, oops, hang on a minute. There we go, I think we're good. Oh, getting used to the technology while we're streaming here. Um, yes, so allowing yourself to be within this beautiful circle, receiving the support that you require, and with the abundance activations, you'll receive from that what is optimal for you. We'll be here for about 30, 45 minutes, and then the interviews will be about 30, 45 minutes as well each day. You'll be able to catch the replays in our group here uh, until the 23rd of September. And if you haven't yet checked out the super juicy Abundant Soulpreneur Bundle, then make sure you do. It's amazing. 
really. I'm so honored that everyone has been so generous with contributing to this. And it also includes a 90 minute abundance mindset optimizer with yours truly. So with all of that said, held in our beautiful circle of golden light, I called on some of the crystal allies and I have these beautiful liquid crystal cards and the one that came up for us today is Imperial Topaz and it just fell out of the deck. And the amazing thing is that the message is all about confident manifestation. So how amazing is that? And it's got an affirmation that says, I confidently create my world. And that is what this abundance activation is going to be supporting you with. So to get started, what is your definition of abundance? Go ahead and type it in the comments. What does abundance mean to you? What's the first thing that comes to mind? One of the interesting things is that I often see, you know, we, you know, have you ever had the experience of having a definition of something and it's kind of like with, if we're talking about abundance here, you may have some definitions of abundance or interpretations that you would label as positive. And then there are some that are perhaps not so enhancing. And one of the things that we'll be playing with here is offering up all those definitions that you may be holding in your database. Imagine when you're doing a Google search and you're searching or you're looking up a word, then you get all these pages and all this information that comes up. And when you actually do a search on the meaning of words, it's interesting what shows up there as well. And when you have, on the one hand, Carolyn is saying liberty, yeah, beautiful. Um, you may have some experiences or definitions that you are conscious of, but unconsciously you're pulling yourself in a different direction. In fact, tomorrow in day two, we're going to be diving into some of the biggest obstacles, the biggest money be lives, beliefs, the lies that we've turned into beliefs that can really block your flow of abundance. And this is where part of this plays into. And Lisa, hey, saying choice. Yeah, beautiful. Um, so you may have all these conscious definitions that are very supportive. One of the things that I have noticed over the years is that many soulpreneurs tend to feel, um, they tend to have a lot of inner conflict when it comes to allowing themselves to be abundantly paid for doing what they love. Yeah, there are so many distortions around what money means and what we've projected onto money that it can really create a disconnect and Sunny is saying an energy exchange from the universe that creates freedom and ability to serve beautiful Sarah saying complete freedom being able to do whatever I want wherever I want yeah and Karen is saying joy Karen Mary beautiful yeah so you know lots of beautiful definitions here now one of what I was um, sharing before saying that many of these soulpreneurs have been on this path of expressing their brilliance in the world and yet have been soulpreneurs as in s-o-l-e solo on their own and for whatever reason you know there have been many experiences that you have wanted to collaborate with others did collaborate with others and it didn't quite work out so well. So therefore, one of the things that that can stir up is that you want to do everything yourself. And part of that is, is that society has taught us not to trust. And in order to allow yourself to really be the abundance that you are and allow that to show up in your life in ways that creates abundance of what lights you up and what supports your essence means that you have to be willing to train your trust muscles and that will bring up a whole lot of stuff, right? So on the one hand, you may feel good about trusting and other areas you don't trust at all and you're wanting to control everything, which is obviously not very helpful for allowing the full flow of the infinite being that you are to express through you when you have conditions in place. And because a lot of this is held at unconscious levels and held in the body, you know, we've got records and memories of times where we made, we may have trusted someone and we're betrayed and how that plays out 
in abundance in life then is that I see with especially solopreneurs is that they then will find themselves experiencing abundance. We know that we are abundance. It's an energy. It's a state of being, but experiencing abundance of lack abundance of struggle, abundance of sacrificing, which was the old rules of the game on this planet, right? No pain, no gain. So, you know, when that is activated, then you will find yourself creating abundance in some areas that actually lights you up, that brings you that joy, that brings you that complete freedom and the energy exchange and the choice and the liberty and everything that you shared. And other areas you may not. So what's happening here is that when you have an inner conflict, push-pull, where you have different definitions of abundance in place that then bring up your mixed results in your outer reality, and that's what's at play there. So if you are willing, could you allow yourself to let all your definitions of abundance, this is where we give the mind permission and instruction to let go of thinking it knows everything already about abundance, about manifesting, about money, about prosperity and anything else in this regard. Allowing the mind to just let all that go and to be open to receiving a whole new upgrade, a reset, so that you may experience abundance of what lights you up abundance of what resonates with your essence so giving yourself permission are you willing to allow all your definitions of abundance to be offered up to source to be source optimized with your essence your light so that any of the push pull definitions that created abundance of what you don't want in your life that all of that energy invested in that can be cleared, can be transformed, can be optimized to resonate with your essence. So it's kind of like having shit that's been turned into fertilizer. Now you have a lot of fertilizer available to infuse into creating what actually lights you up, what's fun for you, so that you can have an abundance of joy, abundance of ease, abundance of freedom, abundance of choice, abundance of energy, abundance of liberty, abundance of all all the things that you consciously know abundance means to you. So let me know if any of this is landing with you. How is that feeling? We have a little bit of a delay in when the comments are showing up. So I'll just keep going. And with this beautiful allowing yourself to receive that upgrade, it's like you have a pro, if you have a computer and you've got programs on your computer that have been um, waiting to receive an update, after a while, if those programs, the software is not upgraded, then you're going to find that system starts slowing down, right? And if at some point your computer is really, really outdated and it's maxed out, then some of the new software won't run optimally on there. So this abundance reset is like allowing yourself to receive a complete reboot, a system upgrade, software upgrade on all areas so that in your physical body the memories the records held within your physical body that have been trained to resonate with abundance of push pull that all of those are flooded flushed with the light you are and allowing those cells and every part in your body to be broadcasting abundance of what resonates with you key here is that in order to allow that into your life fully is allowing yourself to trust this is really all about training your trust muscles allowing yourself to trust that what resonates with you what is available for you what is yours is yours and therefore what may resonate with someone else and may resonate with 99 percent of everybody else that you know if it doesn't resonate with you then trust yourself honor that and let yourself say no to what is dissonant, no to what doesn't resonate, no to what doesn't light you up, so that you can be open to bringing in opportunities and, and situations and resources that do light you up, even if that makes no sense to anybody else. And that calls for a willingness to really, really commit to the beautiful, amazing, brilliant expression of the divine that you are here to be and not giving a crap what anybody else thinks you should be, right? So let's just have a look here. Have we got any 
other comments. Let's see. And by the way, the beautiful thing here as well is that we are launching our five day abundance reset right in the energy of the new moon on a very auspicious day. I love it when the numbers all line up and we are in an 11 year 2018 and our numbers for today, um, 9918, um, and in Australia, we're one day ahead. Um, it adds up to 29. So we have an 11 2 day here. So on this beautiful day of resetting and allowing yourself to really let the be gentle, let the gentleness for the light that you are flush through every cell in your body, receiving that kindness that you may extend to others towards you. And for all the ways that you may have been really judgmental about yourself, about your experience of abundance, about any of the things that you have manifested that may have been, you know, this push pull abundance of what you didn't want, allowing yourself to let the light that you are to flush away any of the grief you may be holding within you, any of the heartache, any of the fear, any of the doubt, any of the ways that you've been second guessing yourself and allowing that to just be flooded with this beautiful infusion of soft pink light, pink the energy of pink supports you with infusing love into your being, kindness into your being, and then letting that extend out into your expression center. It's so all the ways that you have may censored yourself from expressing the light that you are, that all of that be just offered up, dissolved, replaced with this beautiful embrace of really gentleness, loving yourself. You've made it this far and you have so much amazingness to share and express in this world and allowing yourself to receive these upgrades so that you may receive the abundance of the the joy and the abundance of the ease and the abundance of the freedom and the abundance of the grace that you so desire to experience in every area that, that becomes your reality. <sighs> so feeling into that. So today our abundance reset activation is the three word money miracle mantra. Every time when I have shared this, it's, um, it's been really fun to see how uh, people play with this and the impact that it has. And um, you know, let me know if you are curious what it is. If you've participated in the previous seven day money miracles challenges that are run, then you'll already know what I'm going to share, but maybe you've forgotten. So let me know if you need a reminder here or if you already know what it is. And um, otherwise, get ready for it. The three word money miracle mantra is change the channel yep just like you can be tuned in to let's say you're on spotify your music channel and you're hearing music that you're not enjoying what do you do you change the channel to something that you do enjoy listening to right so one of the key things here is that when you if you've already taken the money quiz, by the way, and you know what your leading money archetype is, then each of these archetypes has, um, has some strengths, has, some, has its own gifts, and it also has its challenges, right? And one of the things is that with the, the challenges that can play out, for example, you know, the accumulator, the inner banker, is its key challenge is to trust and it can really go on a second guessing itself. And when you're second guessing yourself and you are not trusting yourself, then what you're broadcasting on your channel become, is that doubt is the second guessing, which then brings in more to doubt and second guess, right? So what do you do in those moments and moments that you catch yourself broadcasting something, thinking something, feeling something, saying something that is not aligned with the definition that you desire for abundance, abundance of joy, abundance of ease, abundance of light, abundance of fun, freedom, choice, all of that good juicy stuff, then you want to change the channel. Offer up for clearing, for dissolving, returning to source all the fear that kept the old programs and limitations and distortions in place and allowing that to be replaced with what actually does light you up. 
One of the key things in the Money Mindset Makeover Program, we dive really deep into getting your sacred money archetypes to work together instead of sabotaging you. And it's very action oriented. And one of the things is, is that oftentimes, you know, you may say that you want to change something or you may say that you're going to do something, but where it starts to become real is going to, you know, when are you going to do it? Actually getting into action, which will stir up all sorts of stuff. Now, part of that is that you know, that teach the art of essence manifesting. And when you're wanting to create or manifest anything in your life, abundance of anything you may think the mind will think that you want the abundance let's talk about money let's say that it's money and it will tell you that you want that money because and you, you know oftentimes i'll hear clients say that well, it's because it brings relief it brings options it brings opportunities it brings you know all kinds of different things in your life that you currently either don't have or don't have enough of yet you would like to have more so when you are in that state and you're tuning into them, you feel into, well, when you have what it is that, you will, that you're wanting to manifest in your life, which is why this beautiful imperial topaz is so powerful, you know, confident manifestation, love that. And when you tap into that energy, the essence of already having manifested what you desire, how do you feel? When you have abundance, of, when you have the joy, when you have the beautiful, the freedom, the ease in your life, then you feel light, you feel confident, you feel radiant. One of my clients the other day said, I have a pep in my step. I love that. Oftentimes I'll hear, I feel relaxed. Whatever the, the words are for you, that is the essence state that you want to tune into. So you can imagine it like having your own playlist on your channel. And one of the channel, the, the playlists on that channel is the abundance of joy, the abundance of ease, the abundance of grace, the abundance of whatever lights you up. And that is what you want to be tuning into as often as possible. So when you find yourself lapsing out of that, you're going into worry, for example, or you start feeling stressed out, or you're wanting to control everything, or you're just, you know, whatever, feeling um, anxious or whatever. And um, that is incompatible with what's broadcasting on the other playlist. You, know, you can't worry your way to joy. They're simply not compatible frequencies. So, you know, I'm sure that you have heard this a gazillion times and in a gazillion ways. But in order to manifest the abundance of what you desire in your life, you must be the frequency of what you are wanting to manifest. So if you, and the way to get into that is to tap into the essence state. And that essence state, so you feel into what is it that you are wanting to experience abundance of in your life. Go ahead and leave a comment if you're on here live. And if you're catching the replay, then go ahead and comment anyway, and we'll interact throughout um, the days to come here and karen is saying yeah it really works the change the channel the three word money miracle mantra <laughs> yeah and anna is saying change the channel love it yeah and it's such a simple analogy you know but it's so powerful because why i love it is that it reminds you that you are always at choice you are so powerful that you get to choose which channel you dial into, which playlist you're choosing to tune into. And if you're listening to something you don't like it, change it. If you're witnessing things in your life, you don't like it, change the channel. Where we tend to trip ourselves up is that we then want to go and fix whatever is not working in our outer reality instead of changing the channel. So it's like if you are watching TV and there's something on there and you don't like what's broadcast on, you know, what you're seeing on the screen, are you going to whack, you know, bam on the screen and get really angry and annoyed? You don't like what's being shown on the screen there. No, you just change the channel, right? So if an area in your life is not as you would like it to be, then instead of trying to go out of your way to fix things out there, which is the old way, you know, outside in a manifestation, wanting to change things out there, you oftentimes find that, um, you know, if somebody is annoying you, I always, always share this with my clients and in the programs, that um, it's really easy to want to, you know, to, to really focus your energy outside yourself. As Byron Katie says so beautifully, you know, there are three types of business, your business, other people's business and sources business. And 
if you have ever caught yourself, you know, getting annoyed in a situation in your life, let's say somebody is really peeing you off and isn't it really easy to then go into wanting that person to change to stop doing what they're doing or to do something differently and you know how's that worked for you if anyone tells you to do something differently then don't you just get up on your high horse and go oh go bugger you you know whereas if you shift how you're feeling about this person so you're bringing it back to your business you change the channel you're going to be broadcasting a different frequency and lo and behold you start finding that people around you start responding differently because if you are broadcasting frustration if you are broadcasting anger if you are broadcasting resentment and all of that kind of stuff then that is what show, what people are responding to energetically when you, on the other hand, are broadcasting ease and light and joy, then that is what people respond to. And I know that you've had this experience, and yet oftentimes, you know, we need a few remind first, retraining the mind, right? So here is another fun thing that um, oh, well, I remember years ago, I was thinking, gosh, you know, we need to have um, uh, one of those buzzers that they have on those um, uh, the voice shows and America's Got Talent and all of that, right? And so a while back, I came into Office Works, which is like Staples in the US, and I found this the no button. And this button is such a powerful pattern interrupter, and that's really what we're doing, you know, here. We're interrupting the patterns, the old habits of behavior, of being tuned into the channels of abundance of lack, abundance of struggle, abundance of frustration, worry, anxiety, and all of that kind of stuff, so that we can shift to start more consciously choosing to dial into that playlist of your choice, where the abundance of ease and the abundance of grace and the abundance of joy are hanging out. And in order to do that, you have to be willing to trust. And anything that's been in the way of you trusting you your ability to discern and they're looking to see how, do, how are you with trusting others how are you at trusting opportunities that come your way and saying yes to opportunities when it's a challenge for you then it's really important to let all that stuff just come up let it be dissolved by the light and transform the source optimized so if you need a little reminder that's why they have these uh, bands that people wear often at events you know and then they um what do you call those the elastic the plastic bands uh, the rubber bands and you snap it so to pattern interrupt the old habit and this is another one so this no button in case you find yourself tuning into a playlist that you do not enjoy, but it's just habit that you're tuned into it. You know, you're nitpicking or you're looking outside yourself, you need the blame game, you need blame game, whether it's blaming or shaming yourself or others, you know, it's just basically being disconnected from your light and the powerful creator being you are, then you need one of these. And when you press it, no, 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 no. it has 10 variations of it. And that is what you tell yourself. On day five, we're going to be addressing the inner shitty committee. So you'll hear more about ways to play with this. So Lena, welcome. Um, yes, join for a little bit. Awesome. Great to have you here. And you all can catch the replays. So changing the channel, right? And a lot of this stuff, and this is where it's so important, you know, that when you are embarking on something new, you said yes to being here, to joining this five-day abundance reset challenge something within you was feeling drawn to come and be here and to receive these reset activations and to allow yourself to really let your abundance energy be optimized and so that means that when you are saying yes to what delights you you will find that everything which has prevented that has to come up to be let go of and this is where I often joke, you know, many, many years ago, I was um, working for the airlines and I did that for 15 years. And then a point came where I realized that it was time to step into my own soul business full time. And I'll tell you what, did I discover the inner shitty committee members, you know, the parts that were second guessing myself and didn't trust when I left the security of a well-paid job with great benefits to 
really to do what I love. And I was having my coaching and healing business at the time. And I thought that that was be enough to just have this deep passion and that you know, me leaving the, the paid job behind was my commitment declaration to Source Divine that I'm fully in. So boom, bring on the clients and we're rocking and rolling and off we go. Well, I nearly went bankrupt. I had absolutely every unconscious fear that I was absolutely not aware of uh, come up for clearing. And the reason why I'm sharing this is that I had made a conscious commitment to really live trust. I didn't want to just talk about it and know about it conceptually. I wanted to live that and be that and embody that. And I was so committed to that, that you know, I took that step, took that leap to go into my own soul business full time. And then next thing you know, all that was not trust started coming up and I ended up upgrading to faith saying wow once i really been training my trust muscles for a while i knew that trust um, wasn't going to cut it i needed to upgrade to faith and that is having trust in the next step when you can't even see it's there right it's like really amplifying and then when you go through this journey of really choosing to trust you want to be willing to trust i choose to trust the light i am knows what is optimal for me I choose to trust that the abundance of what resonates with my essence is available here for me to receive and enjoy. I choose to trust that as I say yes to what lights me up, that all the resources are available for me to bring this into manifestation. And I choose to trust the steps I am shown and I'm willing to take action on that. And that when you go into that way of living and you choose to trust, even though there may be lots of conscious evidence pointing in the other direction. Then after a while, you train your trust muscles and you just have faith. You know that the light you are has your back. You know that source, the divine has your back. You know that even though it may not make sense to say yes or no to something, you're tuned into your essence state and you look into what it is you're wanting to manifest and you tap into the essence state of that desired manifestation. And as you stay tuned into that as often as possible, and anytime that you switch out of that, you change the channel, you press that no button and you come back into alignment. After a while, you just know and then you don't question it anymore. You don't have to believe in the light you are. You just know the light you are. I guess that's the journey that we're all on. And there may be some areas where we find it really easy. I know for myself that I have definitely had and probably still do in some areas I'm not aware of. I uncovered a few the other day that I had conditions in place as the conditional trust. And so for example, finding a parking space, easy. I know I call on my parking angels and I find parking spaces in places where, wow, awesome. I know I'm always in the right place at the right time. I house it and I'm currently in my Lakshmi residence, which is really beautiful and divine nudge as Lakshmi, goddess of abundance and wealth and beauty, is part of our team. And having her on board here, supporting, you know, supporting all of us with allowing that upgrade in our abundance frequency. It's just amazing to be here. So I have absolutely no, you know, just don't question. I know that I'm in the right place at the right time. And so that's easy. But then there are certain other areas where I've had noticing that there are inner judgments about what I have deemed to be easy or difficult to manifest. And really, in truth, if I go, okay, is this source capable of manifesting this? Of course. So why do I question or second guess the light I am to manifest this? Well, that's part of having to really, really train and up those trust muscles and rebuilding that faith and belief and knowing, being certain, being the light that you are, believing in you and the brilliance you are. So when you have a desire to manifest something, if you have a desire to manifest increased abundance in your life, then you have within you to resource fullness. You are full of source, full of essence, the light that you are, whatever words you want to use. You have within you to resource fullness to be inspired into aligned action that will expedite you having this manifestation show up in your life rather than trying to work it all out, figure it out mentally, allowing yourself to take the steps you're shown as you're tuned into that essence state of your desired manifestation. Now the art of essence manifesting is something that 
it just takes practice like everything else, right? And I've had clients, you know, it's really fun. You know, earlier this year, I was doing the seven day money miracles challenge. And then I had this divine download that led to the money mindset makeover. I was like, wow, I was getting ready to, to teach another 40 day program, but no, it was time for the money mindset makeover. And then as we were going through that, then at the end of that suddenly received inspiration that the next step was abundance accelerator. And I had three of the ladies come and join me for that experience. And it was extraordinary. We just finished it up and it was about expediting that, that track, you know, and then, then really it's the mastery of that essence manifesting and knowing that, as I say, and it's really easy in some areas and in other areas, we tend to uh, forget and need a few more reminders, right? So when you are finding yourself being crystal clear on what it is you're wanting to manifest, what you're wanting to create, you're wanting abundance of money, you're wanting abundance of freedom, you want abundance of whatever it is. If it's not in your life, then ask yourself, what would having this in my life bring me? And with this in my life, how do I feel? Make a note of how you would feel. That is the feeling state, the essence state. And then as you go about your day, you check in throughout the day. Am I tuned in to my preferred playlist? Am I tuned in to the abundance channel of choice? And if not, that <laughs> changed the channel, right? Oh, let me know if any of this is resonating, making sense for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and share those in the comments. So really allowing yourself to just take another deep breath in, allowing yourself to receive what is optimal for you to receive and have from this abundance reset activation, allowing yourself to let go, offer up for release any of the ways that you've been hard on yourself, that you've criticized yourself, that that inner critic has been added and judging you and shooting on you. You know, one of the biggest ones is oftentimes hearing that, oh, I should be here by now. I should have accomplished this by now. I should already know this. Oh, I've heard that one broadcast a gazillion times, right? So if that's ever played out in your game or you found yourself wanting approval and letting that people pleaser really get in the way of staying true to yourself, or you found yourself not trusting that you really are supported and everything that you require is available for you and allowing yourself to, to be held by your energetic support team, but also allowing that support to show up in your physical reality then really just being gentle with yourself and saying, okay, as of today, right here, right now, I am choosing to trust the light I am to guide me every step of the way. I am willing to choose what lights me up and to say yes to that. We have many nurturers. It's fun. If you haven't posted in our Facebook group yet what your leading archetype is, then go ahead. There's a poll there so you can add yours. And by the looks of it so far, we have the romantics and the alchemists and the nurturers running the show uh, for a majority so far. And you know, for the alchemist, the alchemist runs my team. One of the main challenges for the alchemist to transform is this love-hate relationship with money. And it's never about the money, it's about what's being projected onto it, the ways that we've abdicated authority onto money or those with money and thereby created as I want it, I don't want it, I want it, I don't want it, which can then show up as money coming in and going out as fast, which is not optimal if you're running a business, right? So, um, and the thing there to transform the, the sacred money contract for the alchemist is to turn ideas, to transform ideas into financial success. And I had to add on to that, including for myself, and actually starting with myself. Uh, for years, I was helping clients generate multiple, multiple zeros um, at, behind, their, behind their income, and uh, help clients create millions of dollars. And I, oftentimes, while well, I was barely scraping by, and I was like, seriously? Turns out I had a bit of clearing, releasing to, like, to do that, and to really shift that until the day came that I realized, whoa, the more that I allow myself to thrive and to really prosper, the more I can support others. And that's the invitation for the alchemist. But it comes oftentimes underlying a fear or, or judgments of what... Um, people with money have done, 
that you don't agree with or don't resonate with, where money has been used to control and manipulate people, and then you don't want to control and manipulate people, and unconsciously you push away the money that you want. This is what we started with in the beginning, saying, you know, your definitions of abundance. If we were to do a Google search inside your inner database for your definitions of abundance, you would find a bunch of them that are really empowering and supportive and a bunch of them that are not. So we've offered all of that up to be source optimized and brought into alignment with what resonates with your essence so that you may start experiencing abundance of what supports your light, your essence to thrive. And so if Alchemist is running the show, then it's about allowing yourself to let go of all those unconscious judgments and thereby, whether it's of yourself or of others, so that money can flow to you freely and also supporting you with really when you have idea to see it through to completion so that you can actually start seeing um, your ideas turn into financial success or help others do that. If you've ever stuck for ideas, and you need ideas on how to monetize your ideas in your business. I'm awesome at that. It's one of my strengths. And if your nurturer is running the show, for example, then the big challenge for nurturers is boundaries. Boundaries is being, you know, having healthy boundaries is being crystal clear on what works for you, as in what resonates with you, and what doesn't work for you, as in what doesn't resonate, and honoring yourself enough to say no to what doesn't resonate and yes to what does. And that will bring up a whole lot of fear and a whole lot of obligation and a whole lot of guilt when you choose to prioritize your well being. So that's part of the transformational journey for the nurturer to really come into alignment, knowing that when you prioritize your light, you prioritize you and allow yourself to be filled up with what nurtures and nourishes and sustains you, including having the support in place with your business to grow and expand or in the other area of your life. Then when you are filled up, you give from a full filled place and that's fulfilling and sustainable. Right, so, so much to share here with you. Oh my gosh, we're coming to the end of our first day here, Abundance Reset Activation. Letting yourself just take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, just allowing all of these frequency upgrades, abundance frequency upgrades, the resets, the activation to integrate vibrationally with ease and with grace and allowing yourself to play over the next day and days with being aware of which channel, which playlist you are tuned into and taking some time to write down what is it you're wanting abundance of in your life with that in your life, what does it bring you? And when you have that in your life, how do you feel? And those feeling states are the essence state. The essence states are like songs on your playlist and that's what you wanna be tuned into. And when you are tuned into that essence state throughout the day, and it's really helpful to make a note, I love post-it notes, so I have them all over the place. So put a reminder on your phone that you choose to stay tuned into that essence state as much as you can. And when you find yourself having you know suddenly flipped the channel, and uh, maybe you know, especially when you're tired, you know, if you're tired, we tend to um, have our, our boundaries tend to not be as clear and strong. You know, how often have you had the experience where if it's with kids or if it's with dogs or cats or any, or, um, you know, with others in your life in general, where somebody asks you for something and they're asking you again and again and again and again, and normally you would say no. And they're like, Oh, just do it, give it to them and be done with it. Right. Well, if you are finding yourself saying yes to what you would normally want to say no to or the other way around, then be gentle with yourself. Notice, you know what, take a deep breath in and allowing that essence state to fill you. Let yourself tune in to the ease. Let yourself tune into the joy. Let yourself tune into the freedom. And as you go about your day or evening, allowing yourself to be shown what is available for you to receive and experience today that enhances those essence states for you? 
I love asking that question as I start my day. I wonder what's available for me to receive and experience and enjoy today that enhances the ease, that enhances the abundance of what supports my essence to thrive. And that way you are tuned in, just like you put your radar on to be on the lookout for what matches that. And as you're feeling into your essence state, then you start getting used to broadcasting at that frequency. You start getting used to being that. And if you've participated in any of my 40-day programs and you remember me saying that you know, it takes 40 days to change a habit, 90 days to confirm the habit, and 120 days to embody, to be that habit. Now it's become your new normal and a thousand days for mastery. So we often have old ways of showing up in the world and doing things, especially when it comes to money and abundance and prosperity and wealth and all of that. And in order to change the channel there requires a willingness to change those habits, to create habits that enhance and support you to thrive. And that will stir up a whole lot of other stuff, which is why essence manifesting is like just the, I find the easiest and simplest and fastest way to align yourself energetically. If you're trying to manifest things in your life and it's not working, then you'll often find that what, if you really dig into it a little bit, you'll find that you're tuned into the abundance of lack. You're focusing on what you don't have. You're focusing on the fear. Oh my God, what if it doesn't happen? What if blah, 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 blah. And that is simply not optimal. Then you want to press your no button, change the channel, and get back to you. So thank you for being here. Thank you for taking time out of your busy days, evenings to come and join me. If you would like to receive support in your business, growing a team, and even if you're thinking about it, you might not be ready yet, then be sure to join in on the hour as I'll be interviewing Janine Greger, who is the dream team matchmaker. She brought in my beautiful virtual assistant and oh, I, this would not be happening, this event, if it wasn't for her support. But allowing yourself to receive support in your life can bring up a whole lot of stuff. So if your business is at a point where you know it's time to expand or to start outsourcing, then you'll want to tune in for that. And following that, I'm having a juicy conversation with Darla about really getting clear on the colors as one part of really aligning your message with all the visuals so that people are drawn to your energy as it's expressed through the colors and the images that you use on with your branding your website and all of that it's going to be juicy and then tomorrow we're going to be diving into tapping into discovering the four most common sabotaging money lives beliefs you'll find out which one is most active on yours and once you recognize this then you have a choice once you recognize it you go stop it and you change the channel. I wish you a wonder-filled day and an abundance of what lights you up, cherishing the amazing brilliance of the light that you are and letting this integrate vibrationally, held in this beautiful circle of golden light. You can stay in that, step out of it, step into it, whatever you choose, and allowing that energy to support you with letting your abundance frequency be upgraded and letting these resets to just recalibrate you. And then that recalibrates what is being broadcast in the world and that creates a different reality. Thank you, lots of love, many joyful blessings, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. And you're welcome, Karen, a joy to see you here and everyone else joining in live. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you soon. Mwah!